Welcome back. That controversial mosque proposed to be built at Ground Zero just got one step closer. And now backers of the $100 million project are trying to offer an olive branch to 9-11 families by including a memorial on site. But is that enough? Or should they just move the mosque somewhere completely different? We're back with Reshma Sajani, Democratic candidate for U.S. Congress here in New York, Brad Thor, political thriller writer and author of the book Foreign Influence, and David Pollack, Democratic strategist and former New York campaign chair for the Obama campaign. All right, uh, let me start with you, Brad, because you are hot under the collar. I am this very issue. hot. You, you, don't, you could care less if they do a memorial. You don't care what they it's do. Like the real, mosque should not be. It's there. like rearranging deck chairs on the Queen Mary. This is, we would never allow a Japanese friendship center to be built at the site of Pearl Harbor. The founding fathers would not have stood for a statue to King George at the site of the Boston Massacre. You know, Islam has a hair trigger sensitivity. They will riot, they will go crazy over a cartoon, an opera, a book, uh, and they're always saying, respect us, respect us, and they riot and all this kind of stuff. Well, you know what? We bend over backwards. We changed Operation Infinite Justice to Operation During Freedom to not insult Muslims for once. For once in the public sphere, let's see Islam give something back to the rest of the world. We always bend over backwards for them. Let's see them do something. You know what? They can move the mosque somewhere else. We're not saying don't build a mosque. We're just saying it's right. inappropriate. And, there. and I gave the analogy in the break. Well, what about if you tried to build a church in Saudi Arabia? That wouldn't fly either. And David, you said what? Well, that's the difference between the United States and Saudi Arabia. And let me just say, I understand and agree with a lot of your points. And I'm uncomfortable by this, by, by this location. And I really empathize with people who are upset by it and who want it to be different. The question ultimately comes down to, does the federal government or the state government actually intervene in where a place of worship is? That's not is? the point. We agree you know, that they have so, the right so to do it. it so but it's we're, there. Not, we're saying, is it the right thing to do? It's not Look, what are their rights, Rush, it's what okay. is the right. Rushma wrote an op-ed actually on this exact right. thing. Your thoughts? Look, I think Mayor Bloomberg said it the best, that when you let um, you know, popular sentiment prevail, the terrorists prevail. This is a nation that was built on religious tolerance. We are a country of respect and religious freedom and I think we lose our values you know when we again cave to popular sentiment on this and the first war we fought outside the United States we went to war with Islam with the Barbary pirates Thomas Jefferson sent the Marines to the shores of Tripoli the founding fathers did not intend for the First Amendment to protect a political ideology that wants to rip apart what the First Wait Amendment is. Wait a minute. The Republicans have Absolutely used this not. issue politically. New Gingrich and Sarah Palin are raising campaign contributions based on that. That's wrong. And, and also, all I your examples, no whether it's Japan or King George, they're not religious examples, and that's the difference here. This is not just a political site. It's a religious so, so site. Let me, so let me ask you this. There's center. been much made well, interfaith, in the last... Is there going to be a synagogue in there? Is there going to so, be a so church in there? It's not an interfaith. There's been much made in the last couple of years about how Christianity gets the Rap here in America when 70 some, 70 some percent of all Americans are Christian. So would you all agree then that Christianity should get the same fair shake when we continue? We debate that every single week on this show. Of course. No yes, absolutely. And this isn't a question about government being able to say yes or no. I agree. The First Amendment does protect their right to do this. And I wouldn't argue with the right to do it. What I'm saying is, is it the right thing? Islam's always demanding we be sensitive to them. Right. David uh, and Reshma, since you're in favor of it, do you have any problem? Oh, but, but do you have any problem where the funding's coming from? Because okay. the Imam. Let charge, me be clear. I'm, I'm not in favor of it. I said I understand why. You understand why. But do you have any problem with where the funding's coming from well, and any connections to terrorist organizations, look, I allegedly? I think everybody should be vetted. I think we need to make sure that none of the funding is coming from any terrorist organization. How would we do that? Well, I mean, I think we need to have a process to do that. You Who's going to oversee that? Well, this is where I think the community board can get involved and get engaged in doing that. All right. Well, the controversy continues. The panel, what a great discussion. Thank, Thank you. you all for being Thank here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up on the show with the job market down in the dumps and the midterm elections just weeks away, the president desperately trying to win back union support. His plea on behalf of the Democratic Party next. And his article reshaped the war in Afghanistan. So should the government allow that Rolling Stone reporter back into Afghanistan to follow our troops again? And they're calling them the Walmarts of weed? What? Massive marijuana factories in California. We're going to be joined by the man behind the plan. Why he thinks this could save the state's economy.